Hey, Wes here, Airstream Wanderings. Today the challenge is to figure out how the Mimbris fired black on white pottery. They had pottery that looked kind of like this, but obviously much better. And the way they got their black on white was different than a lot of the other firings in the desert southwest. So that is the goal today, is to figure out how they fired their black on white pottery. And if that interests you, please come along. As far as I know, there are three ways to get black paint. The ancestral Puebloans, the Anasazi, the natives in the Four Corners area, they used organic paint. Uh, but we know that the members did not use that. Another option is to use mineral paints like manganese dioxide and copper carbonate, but we also know that the Mimbris did not use that. Archaeologists have analyzed sherds and pots and found that the black paint was comprised of iron, basically iron oxide. Well, how do you get iron to turn black? Normally what happens when you fire a pot with iron oxide, uh, it turns red. That's how you get red paint. But what happens with that is that the iron oxide absorbs oxygen as it cools, and that's when it turns red. If we can keep it from having oxygen, firing it in a reduced atmosphere uh, at the end, uh, hopefully then the iron oxide will stay black. So we really have two jobs today. Uh, one is to fire in this reduced atmosphere, and I'll show you how that's going to happen. And then to fire this pot with a variety of different iron-based paints. These are all natural sourced uh, hematite and ochre and iron-based clay or red clay. And so my interest is to find out, do any of these turn black? Will they stay black? And which one will give me the best black so that I have a sense of what to do in the future? Our next step then is to head outside, get a fire going, and get this thing fired. I'll show you how my approach at least to uh, creating a reduced firing atmosphere. Okay, I'm going to build the fire just like I normally do with my test pot here. And once it's fully fired, it'll get smothered, and I'll show you how that goes. Here's the plan. Fire bowl is fired. So what it looks like. It's fairly black in some areas. I'm turning it upside down. In this bowl, I'm smothering all the edges with sand. Okay, that should seal it up. It should seal it up and then I uh, just have to wait for everything to cool. All right, let's uh, take a quick look at this. This has been cooling for quite some time, so it's not even warm anymore, but I have not looked at it. So what I'm looking for are white whites and black blacks. And so on the outside, white's oh, pretty good. These are all smoke clouds. And we'll take this inside and take a close look, but it did not uh, turn black at all. So I'm actually some pretty nice reds in there. Not a, not at all what I was looking for. Uh, so back to the drawing board. We'll have to figure this out. Well, I got to tell you, I am baffled. I walked into this experiment pretty confident. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Uh, this little bowl looks kind of nice, but all of these red colors are supposed to be black. Uh, all the iron was supposed to be uh, reduced and not oxidized. And I thought I had it covered, but obviously I did not. And I don't know what I didn't do or what I did wrong. So I am looking for your ideas and suggestions. What do you think happened? What can I do differently next time? And we'll repeat the uh, experiment until we get it right. It's all about the learning process, isn't it? So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Wes, Airstream Wanderings, wishing you health 
happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.